In linear algebra, the quotient of a vector space V by a subspace n is a vector space obtained by collapsing n to zero. The space obtained is called a quotient space and is denoted V, n, read V mod n or V by n. Definition Formally, the construction is as follows Halmos 1974, section 21-22. Let V be a vector space over a field K, and let N be a subspace of V. We define an equivalence relation tilde on V by stating that X tilde Y if X minus Y element of N that is, X is related to Y if one can be obtained from the other by adding an element of N from this definition, one can deduce that any element of N is related to the zero vector, more precisely all the vectors in N get mapped into the equivalence class of the zero vector. The equivalence class or, in this case, the coset of X is often denoted X equals X plus N S since it is given by X equals X plus N, an element of N, the quotient space V, N is then defined as V, tilde, the set of all equivalence classes over V by tilde, scalar multiplication and addition are defined on the equivalence classes by alpha x equals alpha x for all alpha element of k and x plus y equals x plus y it is not hard to check that these operations are well defined ie do not depend on the choice of representative these operations turn the quotient space v n into a vector space over k with n being the zero class zero the mapping that associates to V element of V the equivalence class v is known as the quotient map. Examples <laughs> 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 Let X equals R2 be the standard Cartesian plane, and let Y be a line through the origin in X then the quotient space X, Y can be identified with the space of all lines in X which are parallel to Y that is to say that, the elements of the set X, Y are lines in X parallel to Y this gives one way in which to visualize quotient spaces geometrically. Another example is the quotient of Rn by the subspace spanned by the first M standard basis vectors. The space Rn consists of all n tuples of real numbers x1, xn. The subspace, identified with ERM, consists of all n tuples such that the last nm entries are 0, x1, xm, 0, 0, 0. Two vectors of Rn are in the same congruence class modulo the subspace if and only if they are identical in the last n-m coordinates. The quotient space Rn, Rm is isomorphic to Rn minus M in an obvious manner. More generally, if V is an internal direct sum of subspaces U and W, V equals U W display style V equals U O plus W then the quotient space V, U is naturally isomorphic to W Halmost 1974, Theorem 22.1. An important example of a functional quotient space is a LP space. <laughs> Properties There is a natural epimorphism from V to the quotient space V, U given by sending X to its equivalence class X. The kernel or null space of this epimorphism is the subspace U. This relationship is neatly summarized by the short exact sequence 0 U V V U 0 Display style zero to u to v to v u to zero. If u is a subspace of v, the dimension of v u is called the codimension of u in v, since a basis of v may be constructed from a basis a of u and a basis b of v u by adding a representative of each element of b to a. The dimension of v is the sum of the dimensions of u and v u. If V is finite dimensional, it follows that the codimension of U in V is the difference between the dimensions of V and U Halmos 1974, Theorem 22.2 C 
O D I M U equals dim V U equals dim V minus dim U Display style mathem codeem U equals dim V U equals dim V dim U Let T V W be a linear operator. The kernel of T, denoted ker T, is the set of all x element of V such that T x equals zero. The kernel is a subspace of V. The first isomorphism theorem of linear algebra says that the quotient space V ker T is isomorphic to the image of V in W. An immediate corollary for finite dimensional spaces is the rank nullity theorem. The dimension of V is equal to the dimension of the kernel, the nullity of T, plus the dimension of the image, the rank of T. The cokernel of a linear operator T, VW is defined to be the quotient space with I'm T. Topic: <laughs> Quotient of a Banach space by a subspace. If X is a Banach space and M is a closed subspace of X, then the quotient X M is again a Banach space. The quotient space is already endowed with a vector space structure by the construction of the previous section. We define a norm on x, m by x x m equals inf m element of m x minus m x Display style x underscore x m equals inf underscore m in m x m underscore x. The quotient space x m is complete with respect to the norm, so it is a Banach space. Topic examples. Let C 0, 1 denote the Banach space of continuous real valued functions on the interval 0, 1 with the SUP norm. Denote the subspace of all functions f element of C 0, 1 with f 0 equals 0 by m. Then the equivalence class of some function g is determined by its value at 0, and the quotient space C 0, 1, m is isomorphic to R. If x is a Hilbert space, then the quotient space x, m is isomorphic to the orthogonal complement of m. <laughs> Generalization to locally convex spaces The quotient of a locally convex space by a closed subspace is again locally convex. Dudonet 1970 12.14.8. Indeed, suppose that X is locally convex so that the topology on X is generated by a family of seminorms p alpha alpha element of A, where A is an index set. Let M be a closed subspace and define seminorms q alpha by on X M q alpha x equals inf v element of x p alpha v display style q underscore alpha x equals inf underscore v in x p underscore alpha v then x m is a locally convex space and the topology on it is the quotient topology if, furthermore, x is matrizable, then so is x, m. If x is a Frechet space, then so is x, m. Dudonet 1970, 12.11.3. See also Quotient group Quotient module Quotient set Quotient space topology <laughs>